was put under check. This is your mind. Touch your mind again. That's the mind. Your mind is a, is, is a reasoning faculty. Your mind is what? The reasoning faculty. Your emotions is your feeling. Discipline your emotions. Your feelings. Before I get into this, these are advice for you all. Your will is your decision. Your will. Your will, your decision. Is it right or is it wrong? Your imagination is a picture for your tomorrow. You imagine evil in your mind. Anytime you imagine evil, they are drawing closer to you. So take you away from this life. And that is what causes suicide. Your imagination is a picture for your future. If you will fail this year, if you win this year, touch, touch it again. That is it. If you will succeed, it's there. If you will fail, it's also there. So put your mind to check. And finally, for this memory, Memory means remembering the past failures. You, you remember your regrets. No! You have to be moving if you must win from now to December. Empty your mind. Take away bitterness and anger from there. Take them out. And you will see you move and you will win. You may suffer. Empty your mind. I'm telling you. Those things can stop you from not getting there. And so, my brothers, in fact, I want to say that this month we have been dealing on a subject, and that subject is called what? So we win. Win. And praise. So we need what? Praise. So we need praise. That is what we need this month. So we need and praise. We've been dealing on it. And today we want to summarize everything, and that's why we are here together. You know, we are here together together to come and praise the Lord. Before I go on, listen. You cannot claim to be too too old to serve God. God is the ancient of days. You cannot claim to be too rich to serve God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness the Lord. All the silver and gold belongs to God. What you are, He gave to you. Where you are now is the lost story. He made you. You, don't, you did not make yourself. So you cannot claim your life. You cannot claim to be too well educated and civilized to serve God. God is the only wise God because all the wisdom of the world put together is not up to the foolishness of God. Everything God said is foolish. But the foolishness of, you know, of God is what? The wisdom. That is it. He said because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. For you to come today, are you foolish? I said, are you foolish? For you to live to one, Leave uh, you know beyond that. Leave uh, where you dare you go. Eh? Answer. Uh, answer. Are you foolish? No. I'm telling you. Because the, the foolishness of God is wider than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. God is the most high. He's the king of the whole earth. No one is accepted from serving him. Regardless of age. Regardless of social status, regardless of title or possession. Service to God is lifetime obligation, responsibility of every believer. You are to serve God spiritually. You are to serve God physically. You are to serve God financially. Amen so much. Amen. So soul winning is, a, is an important aspect of service to God. 
it is, it is, it is an aspect of spiritual service. So really, it was the business of Jesus Christ during his earthly ministry. The Bible says, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was ahead of lost. Luke 19 verse 10. Jesus was a soul, you know, was a soul winner. He was sent by the Father to pursue the business of soul winning. And his business, his business is our business. So once you pursue God, God will pursue you. Once you, once you are after God, he's after you. I'm telling you, I have never regretted for one day that being the man of God, no, 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 no. I'm enjoying the goodness and the mercy of God. Together with the family of God, together, you know, with my own wife, the family, together with church like disciples. Are you not enjoying it? Touch like answer. Are you not enjoying it? I'm telling you. Today, in answer, you'll be surprised. Today, we have pastors. On their own, they walk in. On their own, they walk in. Paul planted Apollos water. Who gave the grace? The increase there is not the numbers. It's you. You must increase in knowledge. Not about the numbers. What, what is numbers? It's about you, not about the numbers. Are you increasing in your love for God? In your knowledge for God? In your worship for God? So it is, it is your increment that will make people to start coming. Am I lying? Because you are changing. People will see you as a changing. You are changing. You are loving. That is it. That is the increment. Not the body numbers. I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters in Christ. So let's be about our father's eh? business. Let's be what? That is my brother and my sisters in Christ. The business of soul winning is not truly accomplished until the soul abides. I'm telling you, and it's established in the church. You cannot just come here and put your hands. You must be what? Established in the church. This is the season of this estate. You come and start looking. No way. You must be up and doing. I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters, in what? In Christ. So, now let's talk about praise now. Let's talk about what? Praise. Somebody help me open to Psalm 67. Quickly, quickly. Because we are going to praise more. You know, because, oh, yes, because when we came in, it was an appetizer. Psalm 67. Yes, Psalm 67, 5 to 7. Psalm 67, 5 to 7. Yes. Let the people praise thee, O Lord. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Now the question is, who are to praise God? Let the people, let the people. I'm telling you, let's go. The people. Then what happened when you praise God? What happened? Then we what? If you want increments, you need to praise God. I repeat again. If you want increment, what do you do? That is it. Because as we begin to praise God, the earth will yield in peace. The earth will do what? So my brothers, my sisters in Christ, let the people praise Him, oh God. Let all the people praise Him. There is a death. So the earth has the capacity to hear what you are saying. The earth can swallow, the earth can vomit. A lot has happened in Korea. The earth has taken enough people. And it's taken enough people in the nations today. The earth has ears to hear. Whatever you say, you want to die, the earth will say, yes, I will kill you. Because you have spoken it. You want to commit suicide, you say, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, you want to commit suicide, okay? Okay. The earth is not open for you. Because you have spoken it. Don't tell them I said, be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. It's sensitive, it's sensitive. 
But now that we know what to do, we don't know what else to do. We don't know what else. So, so it therefore means if we don't know what else to do, praise, praise. Challenges are there. But you are praising God. As you are praising God, challenges will start giving way. Start giving way on its own. Start giving way, I'm telling you. Depression is there. And what is depression? Depression means you are pressed under pressure. What does that say? That's depression. You want to satisfy everyone. You want to satisfy everybody. And nobody satisfying you. That's depression. Depression. I'm telling my brother, my sisters. I'm telling you. So we should be very, very careful at this time, my brother. The second Chronicles 20. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. Yes. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which will come against Judah, and they were smitten. You see, number one, you see, Ammon is there, he's the enemy of God. Moab is there, Mount Seir, you know, Seir, which was come against Judah, and Judah is praise. You see this problem coming. Only you. Challenge is here. This, this only you. Only you. Only you. Only you. Ah, only you. This one attacking you. Attacking you. Attacking you. Attacking you. Attacking you. What do you do? What do you do? That is it. Because you don't know what best to do. Yes. I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters, today, as you hand over that challenge to God through praise, you will see. A dramatic turnaround in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You see, because the children of Judah did not shoot an arrow. What they do? They position themselves to praise God. And God moved into action. I see God move into action on our behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. When you don't know what else to do, reposition yourself. In your confidence in God and then get to high praises warfare. Praise is very vital in every major conflict. For you to overcome. Now let's see the last scripture, I believe. Acts 1625. Acts 1625. Acts 16, yes, 25. Acts 1625, please. Yes. Midnight, Paul and Silas prayed yes. and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. <coughs> and you what? The prisoner heard them. This asshole, this asshole neighbor, what do you do with your midnight? What do you do with your midnight? Ask you, do you sleep well? Do you sleep well? Okay, what is the answer? <laughs> no, what is the answer now? Sing what is the answer? Some of you are lying here. Some of you are lying. You don't sleep that, you know, at night. You think left, you think right. You hold the video. You, 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 uh, let us be real now. You know, you know me. I, I, I'm real. You know, I'm telling you. But the Bible said at midnight. What do you do with your midnight? Midnight is supposed to be a time to 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 what to sleep. But you're telling God, no, I can't sleep. I will not sleep today. Sleep, send away. But these people, you know, they were in prison. But they turned the prison house into what? Into praise. And the next verse, the prison doors were broken. The foundation was shook. It shook. And the prisoner heard them. Their chains were breaking. What do you do with your midnight? 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 Be the hour. It's a time to, to, to rest, to sleep. Because God made the night for us to sleep. But you say, God, I'm not sleeping. God, I'm not sleeping. He said, sleep, my son, daughter. He said, no way, God. What do you do with your midnight? You can't sleep. You turn left, you turn right. So praise is what to do when you don't know what else to do. So put on the garment of praise. Ignore the harassment of the enemy. And God will take over for you. Amen. And when God takes over, everything will go over. Amen. I met a decree today and I sent this 
sworn unto you. Hallelujah. As a servant of the most high God. Hallelujah. As an elect of God in this season and out of season. Amen. That whatsoever is contesting your inheritance in Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes. It must give way. Amen. I said it must give way. Amen. I said it must give way. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anyone contesting your job. Contending with your happiness. That challenges against you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear you, my dear? 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 Are you blessed today? Yes. Are you blessed today? Yes. Are you blessed today? Serving the living God. I am serving the living God. 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 Serving the living God.
Yeah. Baby dance. You know what? You know what? Dance. It's just pull off. Yeah. So what's not dance like this? Your clothes cannot pull off now. Yeah. <laughs> you are meditating the world like this. What is that? You are copying the word. The word is supposed to copy you. You are copying the word. This is not a clubhouse. It's a place you dance like that in dance. I'm telling you, are you ready to dance? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. What can you leave at you?
sing it together. Come on, let's
are we ready? Yes. Says hallelujah. Amen.
We are blessed. Please let's put our tithes and offerings. 